Yes, what's good, everybody? So, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Alpha Fest tickets are selling quick. Nah, I'm evidently messing about. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with a broken man. Now, everybody that's been banging on about my sis that keeps telling me I look like I've had a whack on a night out, now I really do fucking look like I've had a whack. I managed to get it open this morning. I've had my sis cut out, guys, so that's why I've not been online for a few days. But, quick shit vid, let's go. So, the show must go on. Phillips has never been caught offside for um, Bielsa. And then he played against England. Played against England. Played for England and was absolutely unbelievable, wasn't he? And uh, he got caught offside, which I think is piss funny. So, he's played, what, hundred and over 100 games for Bielsa. Never been caught offside, players... In an attacking role, got really got the juices going that game, didn't it? I thought we were min in general against Croatia, to be fair, but I thought Phillips were on another level, uh, and I had both eyes to watch him with that for that game as well. He's the first Leeds player to ever to, to assist in a major tournament since Jack Charlton in 1966 World Cup. So at the risk of saying it's coming home, um, it's coming home. I don't, I don't think we've got enough to. I think it's it's been a mint tournament so far, though, hasn't it? He obviously got man at match, did Phillips. Uh, with BT, but then somebody else give it to to Sterling or something. I didn't really think Sterling did a great deal apart from the score, but his distribution and stuff was amazing. One, some of his stats were outrageous. Loads of big players were like banging on about him, weren't they? Like Balak tweeted about him, Ozil tweeted about him, De Jong were banging on about him, all like piling praise on him. But um, then De Jong upset a few people because he said, "Oh, he might he might end up playing for a bigger club than Leeds." Um, which is gonna that this type of bullshit talk's gonna come in? Do you think the big the big the big cunt, the the big cunts the big clubs are coming in or what? What do you reckon? Cooper obviously played for Scotland. They lost, but I thought he played quite well. Um, Click same really. He played sort of assisted and assist, uh, but they lost as well. Didn't they? Just went down to ten men. Lorente were on bench. Um, yeah, the talk the talks of increasing stadium to fifty five thousand. I don't think that'll be this season, so obviously it's going to be quite a big construction thing. That so they might when they'll get to work on that. I don't know, but it's more or less confirmed. And they're also on about moving the the academy from Thorpe Arch to somewhere else, uh, like uh, in closer to Leeds. Um, whether that means just like the academy, or whether that means the full shebang like training everything, I don't know, but. It sort of surprised me for the full training um, thing, just because we've only just got Thor Patch back and stuff, haven't we? Opening game at Seasons against Scum, which is absolutely mint, isn't it? That's absolutely mega. Um, and I'm going to have to, I've got to say, um, anybody that calls Scum United, it, like, it blows my mind. Every time I see it, it's say, like, oh, United opening game at season. I'm like, United opening? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. And then the month of December is absolutely nuts. So we've got Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal, then Liverpool, and then like Aston Villa and stuff. I know every game's massive, but that is an outrageous run, isn't it? Like in and around Christmas. So it's either going to be... But last time we had the, the month of death, it was absolutely awesome, wasn't we? So yeah, I'll take it. And then uh, there's talks of like... Um, well, this is, this is proper bullshit talk. Bit of fun, really. Uh, Marcelo, Brazilian Marcelo, who plays left back for Real Madrid, who's evidently like unbelievable. Um, <laughs> apparently, Rads is after making a big statement and signing him. Now, I don't want to rule that out just because it'd be the best thing ever, wouldn't it? It'd be so funny, but um, that ain't happening, is it? But apparently, Everton are now in chase as well. But obviously, Ancelotti's left and that, so I can't see Marcelo wanting to go play for Everton. Or with the greatest respect to Leeds, I don't. I think he's on a. I think he'll just sign again at Real Madrid. To be fair, um, did anybody heard about this De Paul? So I read the other day that he he signed a contract, so he's obviously not coming. But now I can't. I can't seem to. There's nobody. I left that for a couple of days while my eye were bulbing, and um, nothing's come up about it again. So I'm not too sure what's happening with that. I think De Paul's off anyway. I know we've all said that and all that stuff, but yeah. Um, obviously playing Scotland on Friday what do you reckon the result will be um, I think we've got to win that game should win that game yeah the Phillips thing it got my juices flowing a little bit like if we do sign someone for defensive midfielder which I don't think we necessarily need if Cock and Lorente can sort of do a job in there 
And even Pascal towards the end of the season started to come into his own a little bit in that role. Uh, but it definitely adds an extra dimension, doesn't it? But then you've got to push Dallas into left back, really. Or is there is there any option for Phillips and Dallas to swap? I know I've said this a few times, but I don't see why Dallas can't play that role. It doesn't have to play it like Phillips plays it. So Cock obviously doesn't have the distribution that Phillips does. But it, the role just becomes different, doesn't it? So it doesn't have to be played the same way that Phillips does. But yeah, I'm going to do one because my eye is starting to hurt because I'm leaning forward. But um, if anybody wants a close-up, yeah. Honestly, yesterday, I, I had to go back to hospital because it was like my eye had gone completely nuts. Um, But yeah, shout out to all my followers and that. Sorry, I've not been very active lately. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, make sure you message me, hit me up and I'll, um, I'll follow you back. And if you want to come to the festival, drop us a message. All links are below. Nice one. In a bit, everybody. Take it easy.